Hello everybody and welcome to the Binding of Isaac Afterbirth Plus, the series where we tried to achieve 100%. And that was a weird intro, but oh well, I'll carry on with it. Uh, in the last one we tried to unlock the Forgotten, and I got the best run we could have possibly got, and I fucked it. Uh, that's a shame. But what I'm going to do here is I'm going to I'm gonna be a bit of a pussy, and I'm going to play as Isaac, because I think Isaac's going to be better for us rather than Azazel. And I'm going to re-roll until we get a decent item room start, and hope... Oh, hello. Half a soul hat. Thank you. Don't really know why that's an unlock, but go on. Uh, I'm going to try and reroll until we get a decent item room to start with here. Um, obviously, I'm not going to look for um, explosive immunity. That would be retarded. But I'm going to look for something half decent to start off with here. My god, it's just giving us the cellar over and over again. And hope from that we can build a bit of a better run. Because I think, I think unlocking the Forgotten is going to be a tedious task of itself anyways and i really don't think you guys want to see like 18 videos of me failing back to back to back to back so i'm hoping that we can get something a little better here and honestly midas touch really isn't that good um i'll try it i'll try it gimpy nah not good enough not good enough um, I'm just hoping for something like that gives us damage or speed or something that's going to let us make our way through these floors a little quicker. Because you've got to remember that we've got to beat this first boss in under a minute, which isn't isn't particularly like crazy difficult, but it's still it's it's a bit of a task. So this one, honestly, it isn't it isn't amazing. Nah, I was going to say it isn't amazing, but I'll stick with it. But it, the the room we got there was just going to take us too long. We've got to be getting relatively short rooms, honestly. Do you want to give me Gimpy any fucking more? That's three times we've had Gimpy so far. Holy shit. Um, but we need to be getting to the boss relatively quickly and getting huge rooms, especially on the cellar with spiders that are very annoying to hit. It's just not going to be good for us at all. Honestly, crack the sky can lick my crack. Don't really care about that. Right. Um, I'll go for that because we could get some soul hearts out of this. We didn't, and we got some troll bombs. How exciting. Yeah, and I, I know, like like I said, this is a, kind of the pussy's way out here. It's not exactly the best way of doing this. Curse of the Tower, that sounds like a great idea. Okay. Okay, yeah. I was going to stick with this, but no. No, I'm not. Now I'm taking damage. The reason I'm looking in curse rooms, by the way, is there's a decent amount of items you can get out of curse rooms that could be really, really good for this. And we could also get teleported to a deal with the devil and get something like brimstone and... That would be just amazing. We really need something that's going to allow us to get hit more um, by without without dying. Or something that's really going to beef up our defense slash attack. Like, a holy mantle would be just the best right now. Like I said, I am, I'm playing uh, Isaac here as well. Because I do think that playing Azazel was my downfall on the last run. Like, I do... I do kind of like Azazel, but I think his short range, especially on boss rush, really limits his potential and can make him very, very difficult to uh, to play well, especially if you don't have crazy high damage upgrades. Like, if you're getting some, some insane damage up, like magic mush and things like that, then yeah, you can probably roll with it and be just fine, especially considering it gives you a pretty hefty range upgrade alongside it. The damage here is just not enough. Um, but I think otherwise... You really put yourself in a tight spot playing as Hazel. Now it does, it does give you the very, very nice ability to um, to kill things very quickly, obviously, and fly and be fast and all that sort of stuff. But it's just the rest of it is, is kind of difficult. And by the way, having uh, the book of whatever here is very, very nice. We do need our bomb, so we don't need to be blowing up that yet. Ah, oh, whoopsie, I. I may have buggered this by accidentally, accidentally forgetting that I need to be fast here, and I've, I've kind of gone too slow. And I think I think I might be a little, a little bit late to killing the boss in under a minute here. In fact, I genuinely don't think it's possible anymore. Yeah, it's, it's not possible. Damn it, shame. Damn, we really need to speed our way over to the boss. It's crazy how fast we want to be here. Don't care. Very crazy. Oh my god, E. coli, why do I care? Come on, give me something that's got a bit of oomph to it. Something that's gonna make this run pop. 
If it really, if it, if it really gets to the point where we've been doing this for too long, then I will just move over to Azazel, suck it up, and try. Parasitoid Tears could, could be very good. It's not guaranteed. It really all depends on how often it procs. And like I said, how close the boss is and how many horrible, horrible rooms we have to go through. It could be tons. Like, getting champions is kind of the worst, because not only do we take a lot more damage, but we also take a lot longer to kill them, so not great. Apart from these grey ones, apparently the grey ones, for some reason, have half HP rather than double. And I genuinely think that's an occurring error that's just never been seen to. I mean, it might not be. It might, it might just be, like how it is but it just feels like the fact that one singular type of champion god damn poops oh my god die it's ruined it it's ruined it no nope, it's done can't do it i genuinely think that like it's an error in the coding there like why would one type of champion have lower hp whereas all the rest have double very strange but yeah as you can see even when we get half decent runs here we're still having the problem of if we don't make it to the boss in like what 30 seconds we're, we're we're put in a really tough spot here and sinus tears is just beautiful such a good item but but rooms like this make it virtually impossible for us to get to the boss in a decent amount of time so who knows if it's going to be possible here come on maybe just maybe it might be all right, but I don't know. Like I said, champions really not good. Sinus tears are doing a lot of damage though. If we can, if we can stick with this run and keep this going, I'd be very, very happy. Now the defense is not too heavy, but don't know why I went for that coin. Such a waste of time. But everything else about this, the the damage wise, is great. Not feeling this run though. Really not feeling it. Can you fly? Can you not? Oh my god. Like, it just can't be done. We're going to have to kill the boss in sub five seconds. It can't be done. The run just feels so good, and the game kicks me in the nuts. Ah. Like, we need something just absolutely crazy good to, to make this work. And we really aren't getting it at all. Come on, game. Come on. Pokeball. Do I care? No. Right. I don't particularly know what I'm looking for, because the thing is, I say, like, oh, yeah, Holy Grail would be really good. Um, or, not Holy Grail, sorry. Holy Mantle would be really good. But would it? Because we're not going to be able to make it to the boss in time, even if we do get it. A HP up is definitely not something we want. I think, honestly, our best chance is one of these with um, with a Teleports to Deal the Devil with something like Brimstone or something that gives us crazy speed and damage, which I don't know how many items like that exist. Acid baby, quite a good item actually, but just not for this run. Right, we're all, once we get to 10 minutes, I'm going to sack this off and go play Zazel. Because I'm not doing this forever. I might have to like, just play this off camera at some point, if we can't do it this episode. For a bit, until I get a situation, that's nice for all that HP, but I can't do any damage with that. Um, off camera, until I get a run where I've done the boss in a minute and I've got good items, and then just start recording from there and, and see how we go, because I feel like I could be sat here for quite a while doing this, um, and I really don't want to make a super boring episode of 25 minutes of me re-rolling, and then a 30 minute episode on top of that, it could just be a bit too crazy. Friendly ball again, come on, told you I don't care about you. Tiny planet, oh my god. Is this game being evil to me on purpose i'm trying to think of the the really good honestly piercing shots isn't bad i'll go with it it might not be particularly thing we need but i'll see if i can at least beat this floor in under a minute and see where we go from there maybe maybe if it works ow spikes okay this is good lots of rooms with no combat wait what don't care that was a bit weird Almost died. Gonna die. Oh no. Oh my god. Can't do it. Champion took too long to kill. Just Isaac starting damage. Maybe. I don't know. I was gonna say maybe Judas would be really good for this, but I don't think he would because he starts with like one HP. And that just seems like a, that just seems like a bad idea. Do you know what? Let's not play Isaac because he doesn't even have the D6 yet. Like that's the main reason you play Isaac. Let's go with... 
We'll try a few Edens. I know it's I know it costs a, an actual point to use Eden. We could get something really good here. And actually, the shovel would have been quite good. I don't know why I re-rolled there. Shovel could have been really good. Um, we've only got a few shots here at getting something crazy. But honestly, that's not bad. We'll see where it goes from here. If, the, if this item room is, is banging, then we'll go with it. But if not... It's a really horrible room. Stonies are so annoying. Ooh, honestly, this could be quite good. Slowing technology beam is quite nice. If we can get some damage upgrades on this, it becomes quite strong. If we can kill anything with it, though, that'd be nice. Ah, oh, I just realized we have ridiculously low damage. One more reroll, and that's all we get. Yep, no more rerolls. That's all that Eden token's gone, and we didn't get anything for it. Cool. Uh, hmm. Fuck it, we're just going to do Azazel again, because nothing else works. Azazel's just too fast. He's, I don't like playing Azazel. I think he's a kind of a, a dull character, but it needs to be done. We can't take it on any of them. Yeah, he's kind of a dull character to play, but unfortunately, it is the only way. I'm still going to re-roll until we get something decent, though. Like, I still think that's a good idea. Definitely not fighting these two. Come on, game. This is just awful. Bad luck here. I can't believe I squandered that last run. Like, we were onto something so great. And this one's so awful. Nope. If there was something good in them, maybe I'd take a bit, but oh well. Stop giving me the cellar as well. I hate the cellar. Ghost, baby. You make me laugh. Ooh, Judas's shadow. Judas's shadow is good. But it's not good enough for me to want to do that room. A respawn is nice, but I don't want to have to do that room because it's going to waste time. Singular Soul Heart. Come on, game. I just need something a bit special. That's good enough. Daddy Long Legs is going to be confusing with um, with all the mum's feet coming down, but it is very good. Oh, something I have just realized. As a Zazel, we don't get a bomb, do we? We're going to have to rely on finding a bomb. Which could be, could be troublesome. Get him. That's not, that's not anything. Oh god. I could see that coming from a mile off. That was awful. But we have made it to the boss in a decent amount of time here. We've done it. Isaac, and we actually got a range upgrade as well there, which is very nice. Um, something I'm hoping, hoping I can take uh, advantage of is Mum's foot to destroy some of these tinted rocks I'm seeing around. Now we don't have to play quite as quick. We can do this here. Give me that. Right. Foot. Foot. Cool. Give me another one of those. Blah, 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 blah. Give me another one of those feet. Yeah, having that shadow above us is going to be confusing as heck. Luckily, them ones are a lot bigger, but still. Still don't like the idea of it. Right, let's keep moving. So, this run is a... Like, it's like a solid 5 out of 10. It's It's got potential, but it's nothing crazy. If we can get some good item rooms, I'll, I'll consider it. I'll consider it a success. But without... Ow. Without explosion immunity, this is going to be really, really tough. And we're actually going to have to focus on where the feet are. Luckily, having high movement speed with this character does make it easier as well. I think that's a good thing uh, compared to Isaac as, as long... Oh, my God. Uh, alongside the um, actually pretty high damage. Just very annoying to deal with all these feet. Like I said, we can we can actually use the feet to our advantage in some regard. But taking damage like that is just, just terrible. And Linger Beam. Linger Bean makes me want to restart this run already. That is so bad. It's so bad. Another thing about this as well is because we're taking damage from the foot every now and again, we're not really going to be able to take deals with the devils, at least not very reliably, and that's going to be terrible for us. I'll definitely take that. I indeed do want more batteries. Please step on this for me. Step down on it. Right, I'm going to go back to the shop. I'm also going to get a foot on here. Come on. 
Oh, what the hell? I couldn't see the shadow. So the whole reason I'm going back to the shop was for HP. Didn't even get HP. Cool. Yeah, I got one soul heart back there. Yeah, this... I, I may have made a grave mistake taking um, our daddy long legs here because I can't really see what the hell's going on. At least, at least we can deactivate the feet for boss rooms. At least that's something. Maybe, maybe here we'll get a deal with the devil that is takeable and just universally brilliant. Or maybe we'll get one that we can't take and is brilliant. Like the shovel would be great. Well, honestly, we can't take the shovel though. I just realized when I said earlier we could take the shovel. We can't. We need our space bar item. Oh, I'm going to keep going here, but I'm not feeling good. Our health is pretty bad. Pretty bad. I'll have to do that. I just have to. I don't like... Oh, my God. I was just about to say I don't like the idea of it, but I do... Can I Can I please be allowed to see? The feet are, like, blocking my vision. Oh, my God. It's so annoying. Stop. There you go. I've, I've stopped them from spawning. Okay, getting that much health is a godsend. Like, literally every one of those chests paid out with at least one soul heart. That's, in my book, a win. Um, and I don't think we're going to get much better than that for the rest of this run. Let's just hope we can get some very heavily... Okay, that was bullshit. Come on, you know it was. It's, so it's weird as well. Sometimes the feet drop quite quickly, and other times they don't. Other times, there's quite a large gap. There seems to be no real timing to them at all. I'm actually going to negate the feet here, which I now regret considering I see the boss room is right there. But I cannot be dealing with these mushroom things with feet there. But we just got that, so I'm okay. Actually, would have been quite good against these guys. Can you not? You don't jump right on me. Very easy bosses jump right on my head. Can they hurt each other? I know that they can step on their own spiders. Ah, for God's sake. Not, not good at all. Crazy that we get a double trouble boss this early as well. Pageant boy. Again, really not what we need. I think, I think a magic mush is almost a must considering the, the crazy range and damage it gives us is kind of a must. That did not hit me and you know it, fuck. The, um, the radius of the feet is very strange as well. It's not very forgiving at all. Oh, this is, this is hellish. Oh, this is hellish. I can't do this, I, people. I can't. I just... I went through this hell twice before. I can't do it again. Oh, my God. This game. End my life now. Look how much health we've lost. On just this floor, you give me fucking Brother Bobby. You couldn't humiliate me anymore, could you, game? Brother Bobby. Shard of glass and butter bean. Oh my god, this is all awful. I'm taking it. I need the respawn. And I need the damage. I just... I wish the feed didn't block so much of the screen when they fell. Right. Battery Baby is basically a must-have because it means that in Bosch Rush, we're going to get a lot more batteries and be able to activate the anti-stomp machine way more often, if we even make it, which at the minute looks unlikely. The foot, where did it come from? How? Like, sometimes the, the area that it, like, stomped, you just can't see. You just can't see that it's going to land there. The shadow just isn't visible enough. And sometimes some enemies you have to stand still for. You have to. Like, so what do we do? A rubber us gives us some range. We don't need range anymore, so that's cool. Well, now Dark Judas. We have a lot more damage, but we can't fly and we don't have Brimstone. Did kind of forget that that was a thing. Hating this, by the way. 
I'm gonna give this one more attempt if we die, but after that, fuck it, I'm just gonna do it off camera. <laughs> it's so awful. I, I can't tell if it's a challenge that's so difficult that it's like, it's kind of annoying but satisfying to win, or if it's just so difficult that, that it's not fun. It's, it's border, it's definitely bordering. What the fuck? There's no consistency with these feet at all. Uh, send me down the wrong path as well. The fact as well that they can stomp you in between rooms is even worse. Like, there's nothing, there's no combat going on. Go away. Let's just do that now. Oh, that's just not, just not pleasant. It's just not good to see, is it? You blast my bomb out the way. Cool, thanks. But I get a soul heart and instantly get hit. Cool. One soul heart here. One. What the hell is a guy to do? Like, I stand still for a nanosecond to shoot something. Stop my foot. Dead. He's dead yet again. Like, I feel like I have to reroll until I get a decent item. I can't not. I can't not. What does this even do as this guy? It just gives us a pretty hefty damage upgrade. Okay, I'm pretty happy with that. Uh, Mum's locket seems fine. Although the timing here, not so not so happy about that. Uh, we might not even make it to the boss. Oh, don't push me away. Come on. Come on. Don't ruin this for me, you jump-jacking little poo-head. Why is there so many big rooms in a row? Oh, we're not going to make it, are we? We got it dead on a minute. God damn it. Good run ruined by five massive rooms in a row, basically. <sighs> Calm. Calm. Zen. That's a damage upgrade. Might be able to pull this one off. Like I said, might. Also gives them HP as well, which is nice. Hence we go the right way here. We did indeed. Oh my god, the spiders. This is why they hate the cellar. They just move so annoyingly. There you go. Got him. That's nice. A health upgrade there is very nice. Oh my god. Let's search the rest of the floor before we do this whole shebang. We haven't been to, been to our item room yet. This could be great. Actually, oh, I was going to say, actually, it's not bad, but it's it's terrible because we can't take it. Forgot about that. That's one of the hardest bits about this challenge, like, that I always forget. You can't, you can't even take active items. Like, there's so many great active items. They're a big part of your arsenal in this game. You can't take any of them. At least we don't have, oh, what was I to do there? Um, at least we don't have a, a foot following us the whole time. God damn it. Not a foot. Uh, Daddy long legs. This challenge. Pushing me to the edge. I absolutely have to take these. I'm actually quite happy with that. Don't care about pills. Really couldn't care less about pills. But yeah, I have to take chances like that. Although it's risky to lose HP, I, I think I think it's something that has to be done. Right, it's so difficult to tell as well. If two feet decide to land in one place, like one after the other, it's really hard to tell what they're going to. I think there was a chest in that room, but it was covered by the foot. 
I'm gonna go check. No, it was a key. It was a key. Still something of use. Have we been to our item room this floor? We have not. That's another thing with their curses. Makes it even harder. God damn it. This, this, sometimes as well, like the feet do predictive movement. Like they'll try and predict where you're about to go. Okay, there's nothing in here. Good to know. Wrong way. Where? What? Did we, did we go down? We did not. This is the boss. Cool. Let's do that. Get these guys out the way first. Luckily, our damage is pretty good here, so we're able to kill bosses in a pretty timely manner. I just, I, I need some, like, a beastly range upgrade here to make this, like, really go off. Getting some more speed upgrades, too, would be nice. What could give us here? We've already been in there. Another damage upgrade is awesome. Let's try and find our item room. We've got to remember as well, we've also got to make it to boss rush in time too. So all the while we're trying to stay alive, we've also got to be going as fast as we possibly can. You know, a fire rate up would be real nice right about now too. I'm kind of asking a lot of the game here, but I think I think it's well deserved. The game like deserves to give me a lot. We've already been that way. Not been this way before. Troll bomb almost went to pick that up there. That's another thing as well. If you stop at the door, just, they just slam on you right as you walk into a room. Just, they don't they have no chill. That's not bad. That's not bad. Right. For God's sake. Troll bomb. Why? Right, let's try and speed this up a bit. If only I can remember which way I've got to go. I think it's down, isn't it? Yeah, cool. Right, oh, for God's sake, and a foot lands on it too. Luckily, they don't have contact damage. If they had contact damage, then this really would be the worst challenge ever. All right, gotta risk it, gotta risk it. Wasn't worth the risk. Oh, we've now got a very cool green laser beam too. Just don't get hit by the feet. Definitely, definitely don't get hit by jammed, uh, not jammed, fucking playing into the gungeon here, um, by challenge enemies, whatever they're called. What the hell are they called? Champions. Another terrible room here, considering there's very limited movement space. Very limited movement space indeed. That was nice. Oh my god. I feel the pressure. Did, did What hit me there was, if that was the foot, then that is absolute bullshit. Because it definitely didn't. Right. Mask of Infamy, that's so good. Mask of Infamy, infamy basically, when you get hit, there's a chance you don't take damage. That is very, very, very important. It's not a high chance, it's just completely random. But... It's still very, very, very useful for us. So it basically means that a lot of the time, well, some of the time, when we get hit by the big feety feety, we don't take any damage, which is wonderful. Let's, let's, let's use this, the shovel, before we end up taking too much damage here. And let's get the hell down. Having an orbital, it's not that important, but it is, it is nice that it's there. Right, can't go through there. Good to go the wrong way straight away here. Okay, that was not bad. We actually made it through that all right there. That was good as all the both those portals just gave up on life straight away. Okay, you blew up a mushroom. That's another thing as well. You can blow up hazards in the room, which could be a problem for us. Not always going to be, but it could be. I'm hoping a footsteps on that, but it, it decided not to for me. It's great. Troll bomb. Cool. I'm just going to stop the foot from stomping on me here. I feel like this is a room that definitely would be made a lot harder with that. Okay, good. Get some pennies there. Could maybe go to the shop and buy some HP. This is a room that can be really annoying. 
Oh, this is a room that definitely is really annoying. Just because the way you have to move to attack these guys is a zazel. It can be really difficult to uh, predict where the feet are going to go. And especially them pricks. I never get hit by those guys. But on this challenge where you're constantly having to move, it be really annoying. I'll check out the arcade. Just don't care. Nah, I want to wait for that troll bomb to blow up and destroy all the machines, but I just, I just don't care. I'm going to lose too much health. Too much of an investment. That was risky, but I'm glad I did it. Got a hero font card there. It's really nice. Hermit card there. It's really good. No spirit heart from that. That's annoying. I'm actually going to use my hermit card now. Buy that, definitely. Why did I go this way? Why did I go this way? Damn it. Damn it, damn it, damn it, damn it, damn it. Sometimes when you get hit by the feet, I'm like, okay, fair game. Other times it's bullshit. That last one was like, okay, fair enough. I was stood in the wrong place there. Okay, this is an easy, easy boss for us because he only spawns enemies. I think, I think this is the champion version that only spawns. I can see that by him being slightly grey. I don't know if you can see that. But he's like slightly grey. Please don't screw us. Polydactyl, it's just fine. Wheel. Gonna do that. Mystery candy. Whatever. It doesn't do anything negative for us, so it's fine. Right, two more floors. And then boss rush. Have to do it. Too important not to. Oh my god. I actually passed through that guy as he was spawning. Didn't even know that could happen, but thanks. Oh my god. The stress. It's killing me. Oh, oh my god, game. Thank you. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Any room that looks slightly challenging, pop the shovel. Has to be done. Got to remember as well that not even, not just when we beat Boss Rush, if we do, we also have to beat the run as well. Like, still, it still doesn't become an easy challenge. It stays hard all the way through. Yeah, I'm, this is a room where I'm not confident in my abilities to dodge everything that's coming at us here. There's like five different challenges in this room. There you go. The only annoying thing is whenever we use the shovel, that's another few rooms we go without being able to use it. Oh my god, that was close. Yeah, it's another few rooms we go without being able to use the shovel, so... Sometimes we'll use it on a room, and there'll be a much better room to use it on. Afterwards. Rosary. I don't care. Oh, that was close. Golden key, it's fine. Damn it. Oh my god, you beauty, you beauty. Um, I've got to take that. I've got to take that. And a dice shard is pretty good too. That's just a tower. I don't really care about the tower. Come on, how are you not dead? Do we, have we been to our item room yet? I got hit by a brimstone there. I don't really care about that. Oh, I did it again. We haven't been to our item room yet. Let's go to that first. We've got time. We've got time. Plenty of time, in fact. And we can also re-roll it too, which is great. That was going to be a room that I was thinking, that's a bit too hard then, but then we got saved by... Yeah, I'm going to I'm gonna pop it here. I just don't like the brimstone laser guys. I like to be able to line up against the wall and easily kill them. And the, the shadows from the feet can't be seen against the like, pits. So it becomes very difficult to see what the hell's going on there. Don't know why it's not spawning here. Oh, there we go. Finally it did. Stigmata is damage and health, so very good either way. The health is more important than the damage, considering the damage is pretty a pretty low amount. But honestly, at this point, I'll take anything I can get. Especially if it's HP. Oh my god, we don't have the shovel for this guy. This guy is such an annoying boss too. Because we can't even sit over the gaps either. Luckily, the feet bounce him around a bit, so not so bad. He's almost dead. Nice, thank you for... Nice, damage upgrade. Spun as well, holy shit. 
Oh my god. We just got a massive speed upgrade. We got Spun, which is a 2 damage upgrade, plus the damage upgrade from Growth Hormones. So basically, all in all, that was a very, very, very good little bit there that we just got. That's made me very happy. I will go in this in the hope that we can get a Soul Heart. Um, we can't take the Bible. I was just about to say we should definitely take the Bible, but we can't. I'm going to take this for the transformation just in case. Oh, wait. Do that. There we go. Got Bookworm. Every now and again, we'll fire double lasers. Very happy about that. And we also just got a soul heart out of that. I think that's a worthy use of our reroll, considering we're literally not going to get anything else to use our reroll on here. Something else I just realized as well, by the way. We don't actually have the ability to guarantee ourselves to go to the um, Satan fight. So we could do all of this, get all the way, and then not be able to get to the Satan fight because we don't get a deal with the devil. We, we might have to manipulate it so that we do, but we'd have to lose too many soul hearts, so we can't really. I'm going to end that off there. Oh my god, you had to touch me, didn't you? You prick. You big earthish fucker. Horrible room. Horrible, horrible, horrible room. Ooh, so all this. I could end up doing all this and it'd be for nothing. I mean, hopefully it won't be, but it could be. And that's scary. This is a more scary room than the, than the one I previously used with the um, shovel on, so I'm very scared about this. Get rid of you. You really had to create another enemy to piece of fight, did you really? I forgot that the feet don't go away at the end of the room. Why did I forget that? No, no, I keep forgetting that. that. That seems to be like a consistent way that I take damage. I can't use the foot here just in case. Uh, the shovel, sorry. Just in case the next room is the boss. And I got hit somehow. Again. Very nice. Literally couldn't care less about this room after this. I'm bailing out. Oh my god. Again, don't care. Just bomb our way out of rooms that are horrible. Oh my god, I forgot that was an enemy that did damage. And I got hit again. Beautiful. Thanks for hitting that room for me. Bucket of lard, it's a speed down, but for the HP, I will take it. It's a minor speed down as well, very minor. Normally much higher than that, but it wasn't this time around. Which is good for us. No tinted rocks here, sadly. Nothing particularly. Oh, I went back for the HP and it stomped me. Do we have any red hearts available on this floor? I don't think we do. It didn't kill that guy? Okay, there's a soul heart there. Full card is nice. I've got a secret room here. That's exactly where I want to check it, just in case we got some HP there. And this is Foot Mum as well. I risked it and used the shovel on this fight. Foot Mum is not so hard. Boss Rush is... We've got the damage. Like, we've got the capability, but Boss Rush is going to be so difficult. Oh, I forgot it starts stomping immediately. That's going to... Oh, it gave a Seraphim, which is great. It's really not a good room here. Why is there so many of these boys? What well, spawned all of them? Yeah, Seraphim is really good for us there. The Seraphim is going to mean that we get uh, extra soul hearts. And no extra speed, but extra soul hearts at least. Ow, little Logie hit me with one of his bullshit attacks. Well, it wasn't bullshit, it just wasn't paying attention. But yes, we got a nice health upgrade. We also got Seraphim, which means we get more Soul Heart drops in general. Which would be really important for us. I did not realise that the poison affected both of them. Just with our speed, we need to keep up high momentum at all times. Take out any babies that spawn. I need to kill this guy quick so he doesn't spawn more. Right, I've ended the foot for now. 
Oh, I walked right into him. That's another thing about high speed. We end up walking into enemies fairly often here. Whoa, I almost got hit by that enemy, but luckily my cube of meat saved me. That did not. Oh my god, what is going on here? We need to get way too close to this guy. Oh, fucking god. Fuck my life, fuck my life, fuck my life, fuck my life, fuck my life. We can't. We physically can't get close enough to this guy to kill him. Like, literally, we get close enough to him, then we have to stop. Go away. Bad wave to use that, to be honest. This is a really easy wave. Check out that guy first. Especially considering we've got this version of the haunt. Very easy version of the haunt there. Not so hard. The feet's going to make this really difficult. It's actually stationary enemies that give us more trouble. Because, obviously, um, we have to stand still in order to attack them effectively. And that really puts a damper on things for us. But luckily, it is the easier version of um, Gerdy. Oh, it was so hard there. I don't know where that came from, but I love it. But the problem with it is he is spawning quite a lot of enemies, along with the other guy that also spawns quite a lot of enemies. Inquiry just saved us there. Bit of damage. Okay, Cage, you have to go. It's so annoying. We've got double. Double monster here, which is not nice at all, especially while we're moving so much. Monster is going to be after us at all times, but we got rid of one of them, so I don't mind too much. God damn, they're weak. What are you doing? Big bad bitch. Don't be up the top of the screen. That makes things so much more difficult for me. Oh my god. Thank you, Spot. You saved me there. Definitely a wave that I need um, a bit of refuge from the feet. I also just got hit by that guy twice by my speed being too high. Very annoying. This guy's real annoying. You can plant little poops everywhere that can be really frustrating to deal with. I'm just gonna bomb him. What? What just happened? What just happened? What the fuck just happened? Do I have to do that whole thing again? Done. You're bullshitting me. To be honest, there's still hearts here, so I don't care. But what the hell happened? Did I use my Q ability by accident somehow? I've got my finger nowhere near Q, so I don't really know how that's possible. Feet, go away. That's absolute bullshit, if that's the case. Take our time on this. Oh, really? I take my time, I still get hit. I can't believe that though. I don't, I don't know how we got so far into it as well. I don't know how that happened. At least the waves are in the same order so we know what to expect. But we now don't have like a fuck from the soul heart that we had before so we can take a lot more damage here. This guy pooping out so many different enemies here. Thank you game for killing that guy for me. see you ran away from that bomb. Also, it means we've wasted bombs as well. Which is definitely great. I'm going to take care of you guys, just so you don't hurt me. I don't know where you came from, but I'm going to take care of all of you. Wait, is that guy spawning them? There you go, they're gone now. Right. Certain stupid damage we're going to not take this time around. But other stupid damage we're definitely going to take. This is probably the worst wave of the entire lot. One, one of them at least. It's one that we took damage against a lot last time around. Just it's so difficult to know how he's going to shoot. So we can't really get close to him efficiently. Especially this one. That's some bullshit. I don't know how we didn't get hit by the foot there. But praise be that we didn't. I don't think this is the one where we need to use um, the anti-feet on. Just because he dies so quick. We can play it wave by wave and see what we get. 
it's another one where I think we're okay um, not using the uh, anti-feet. Oh my god, no. Why did I take a damage there? That was so stupid. Okay, this is one that I want it on. You are so annoying. Luckily, these guys die in basically one full brimstone. Oh. So sporadic. How the fuck do I deal with that correctly? We need to fire it up as well. That would be nice. Right, gotta remember that uh, thingies are coming in now. Feet, yep, there you go, there's one. Unfortunately, this is a really annoying wave. Luckily, those enemies are pretty easy. Don't know why it spawns them instead of the ones it normally does. I'm happy about it. A lot of them, though. Quite a lot of them. There's a heart here. I don't know what that does, but I want it dead. Probably just to deal contact damage. Probably doesn't do anything more. It's actually good that it's spawning the hearts and not the poops he normally spawns. They're much more deadly. Do you want to get that foot on that half heart there? Yeah, the, even the drops this guy's throwing at us at the same. This is the wave that we um, messed up on last time, so... Feeling a bit better about that. Did Pin die there? I think Pin died. How? Didn't do anything to it. How are you not dead? Whoa. How do you have so much HP? Oh, double Gary is very annoying here. I think it dropped a soul heart though, so. No, it doesn't. Good to know. Damn it, I picked up a full heart by accident then. Did not want to pick that up yet. Yeah, I am my get out of this. Better be great. Oh no, I'm pretty sure it's only the uh, other half of the shovel. Damn it. This guy's annoying. Let's end this wave. Of feet. What's the use? It's, are you stain? You are stain. Thank God I used the thing there. The um, anti feet. The stain's so annoying. I'm actually going to take out you before I end this wave off because you're really annoying me. He's usually going to spawn more now and he's going to telefrag me. He almost did. Almost. Okay, this isn't such a bad wave, especially considering the feet are actually going to destroy a lot of the uh, extra spawns here. Because the, the spread over such a wide radius. No, I don't like that. I don't like when the explosions hit me every single time because I don't have the fucking range to deal with them. Okay, this this was a wave I thought was going to be quite easy. The game thought differently. Definitely, definitely stopping the feet here. Oh my god. Fallen. Fallen. Other enemies. And the Forgotten. Whatever his name is. Not the fo Fallen the adversary, that's the ones. Okay, he's dead. He hasn't brimstoned yet, that scares me. Thank god. Thank Jeebus. Thank Jeebus. Ow. I took damage against a bit of fire there, apparently. How do I escape? Here. Oh, right. Now, we get onto the RNG part of the run, and also, also, we take double damage here too, which is just great. We're going to be able to kill things relatively easy, but we're also going to die relatively easy. We're going to be relying pretty heavily here on um, our beautiful, beautiful infamy. I don't know if the shovel does anything here. It lets us skip a floor. I'll definitely do that. Cool. Yep, definitely doing that. Do not care about... Yeah, it gives us 100% deal the devil chance this floor as well, so we've 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 knocked out the like biggest RNG part of this. But you're still alive? You look like you were dead. Oh my god. I want the poison kill you. Good thing is as well, poison does scale with our damage, so we can deal a lot of damage just based off poison. We don't have that damn foot chasing us anymore, which is beautiful. 
Wait a minute. Am I being stupid here? Can I skip another floor? Can I skip another floor? Ah, oh, they opened up a trap door. That's not useful to us. Thank you for terribleness. Calm down, you cubes of meat. You big meaty boys. But we might be able to skip this floor as well and just skip the mum fight entirely, which I'm very on board with because I'm sick and tired of this. I hate this room with a passion. It's healed me to full though, so I'm very happy. Yep, let's just do it. We already have the negative, don't we? We do, so we're fine. Oh my god, hello. Didn't expect you here. Right. Annoying, but we can deal with you. Oh my god, did not expect you to hit me there. I kind of forgot they shot at this size. I thought they, they just moved around. I'm tempted to shoot all the, um... Oh god. God damn. I'm definitely gonna blow up these poops. Uh, poops. Uh, fires. There's a tinted drop there as well, so double, double value. I'll take that. I was gonna leave it until we got hit again, but I'll just take it. Wow. <laughs> Talk about self-inflicted. They just want to see themselves die. No soul hearts. Very sad to see. Right, them enemies can be a pain. Oh my god, the soul heart drops are very important here. Very, very important indeed. Finding the boss in a timely manner is also very important here. Infamy, you god. Peeper's eye, you bitch. I unlocked the catacombs. Cool. You explode, I know that. Right. Three, two, one. Nice, getting that off the bat is great. How are you not dead? Luckily this guy's dying quick. Oh my god, cube of meat, you beast. This is the hard bit. Don't let too many of those feet things spawn. Not feet things. The feet are meant to spawn. The fly things. You get too many of them, that's where the problems start. I don't think it'd be more than two actually. It doesn't look like it. We did it. Now we just have to find that room. Now we just have to find that room, and we've done it. God damn. This game is brutal. Absolutely brutal. This is also brutal. Oh my god, don't want to go through any big rooms if I can help it. Ah, uh, nothing I can do against that. Infamy, you god. Come on, you know you want to die. You know you want to die is what I was going to say to you. Should have listened up, puppy. Don't know why I walked into that spider. Probably should have just killed it. I, I think it, my, my theory was if I try and kill it, he'll just spawn more. But I didn't bother. Bad idea. Thanks for all the soul hearts, by the way, game. Can we blow out a door here? I don't think we can, can we? Oh, that was stupid. Just focus on one boss at a time here. This is a terrible room. We could die here.
Okay, okay, okay. In a better position now. This room is still terrible, but it's better. It's the quick jumps they do that are really bad. Okay, got him. That was annoying. Went through that room for nothing. Trying to make my way through all of the small rooms here, but not always the best idea. Not always the best idea. Oh my god. Literally hitting all the wrong ways here. You watch, we're gonna not even make it to the room and die. Oh, that's that does not make things easier on us. It's so hard on this room to know when the others are gonna jump like that. Oh my god. This is terrible. Oh, it's good. Please give me HP. Bomb is not HP. Really scared here. Really, really scared. Really, 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 really terrible room here. Okay, that's makes things easier. Where are your faces? Okay, that's one down. Another down. My god. Don't slow me, bitch. Annoying. Bombs, just give me HP, please. Oh, thank God we killed one there. Two of these. Oh my God, that fly almost got me. Almost got me. How is this room so hard to find? No soul heart. Very annoying. Please game. Oh my god. We're not going to find it. We're just not. I feel like two of these at the same time isn't really possible. I mean, I did it, but you know what I mean. Oh my god. Oh, that's great. So good, thank you. We did it. The game paused itself and we did it, but we did it. You will not have forgotten. I could not give a shit about dying now. We've got the boss right here, so we have a chance. But honestly, do not care. Wow, he died fast. Hey. Metal player, one soul heart, and another chance to deflect bullets. Cool. Right, let's try the lamb out here. Don't think we're going to make it through this, but I'll give it a go. I, I still, I don't remember this guy's attack patterns very well at all. Like... Can we kill him before we kill the soul thing? Oh, what the hell? My god, cube of meat. Cube of meat. I don't. I don't get how you're meant to do that normally. No. This is... Okay, we, we killed that. We killed that. Hmm. What are we meant to do here? I'm just going to stay still and hope for the best. What the fuck? That, fuck no, that is what I'm going to call an against all odds win. Holy shit. Holy shit. We literally had to do boss rush twice. Suck my dick forgotten. I will play you in the next run. I hope you guys enjoyed that very long run that was meant to be half an hour tops, ended up being an hour. But yes, hope you guys enjoyed and I'll see you guys in the next one.